Today is finally the day we leave on a proper road trip with the SUV camper build. It is just about six o'clock now and I have roughly a 12 hour drive ahead of me today. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving you now. Bye. See you tomorrow. questions like is Joel coming and the answer is yes Joel is coming on this road trip just not on this part of it I'm gonna meet her in a city called Halifax which is in the province of Nova Scotia you might be wondering where we're going and I kind of just answered that in the first question but we're gonna be doing an East Coast Canada trip we're gonna be driving through and visiting six provinces it's a pretty ambitious trip. I think I'm gonna be gone two weeks. We've done tons of one or two nighters in the in the SUV since we've built it out, but we haven't done anything uh, anything like this yet. First gas stop of many, I'm sure. Two hours down, nine and a half to go. We have officially arrived at uh, tonight's camp spot. We're in a town called Edmonston. It's just past uh, the Quebec, New Brunswick border. We're staying, we're staying at Walmart. I feel like every person who does a van life or converts a SUV or truck into a camper has to stay at Walmart. So this is kind of like my inaugural Walmart stay. So I'm gonna go into Wally here, find some grub for tonight. Grocery haul. <laughs> Today, all I had to eat was Timmy's for breakfast and had McDonald's for lunch. And all I could think since that is man, I really just want a salad. Come for cheese? Come on. Cheers to my first Walmart parking lot meal. Not bad. Oh, salad's like. I don't know, 7 out of 10, 6.5 maybe, 6.5 out of 10. Let's go with that. Chocolate milk though. Chocolate milk is a 10 out of 10. All day. All day. It's 
crazy how many people are are uh, camping out in this parking lot. Got some trailers down there. There is a van there. You have RVs over there. There's a truck camper there. Another RV. <laughs> another trailer. RV. Another trailer. Full on trailer park in here. It's wild. I'm gonna try to get wrapped up like a burrito in my uh, sleeping bag. Looking like the middle of the day with all the lights that Walmart has. Might be a little tough to sleep. I'll catch up with you guys. Bright and breezy tomorrow. Five o'clock, wake up. Good night. Well, good morning. It's a uh, it's quarter. Oh my god. It's a quarter after six. We got a half tank of gas. And we gotta find a Tim's. We need coffee ASAP. Name a more beautiful sight to wake up to. Can I please have a uh, extra large coffee to milk? Hi. Thank you very much. Oh, thank God. Currently in a town called Chester, which is ironic because I heard on the radio that it's National Dog Day and we both miss Chester dearly today. And everything reminds us of him in this town. <laughs> oh, thanks buddy. You got five shrimp. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard about that. I made one for you. Yeah, well, you remember I, I lived in Alabama for three years. Oh. You're good? <laughs> You're right, but it's a little creation. I'm so good. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Well, that's kind of the first leg of the trip. We both got here. We have a hotel to stay at for the next two nights. We have a, an event we have to attend. This guy needs to get out of these clothes and have a shower. Change his underwear. Change his underwear. Uh, pretty desperately. Um, so on that note, we will wrap this video up. Thank you guys. I'm his underwear, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Thank you guys for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you on the next one.